Hi, this is Tracy from Mindless Crafting, and today I'm going to show you how I made these adorable cards using limited supplies. It's super easy and it's so artsy. Look how pretty that is. So let's get started. So this idea came from um, a channel that I saw, I watched recently. I was looking for something where I can do like, make something artsy. And Tiffany Thomas, um, her that's the name of her YouTube channel. She did an optical illusion circus tent. And I was like, oh my goodness, I gotta do that. And so look how beautiful these look. So what I did is I said, let me go ahead and turn this into an actual card. So all you'll need, let me show you what you'll need. I'm gonna do it on an A2 size card. And I cut this card stock to um, three and three quarters by three and three quarters. So I wanted a square. Hers is larger, but I wanted to condense mine to fit on a card. So Tiffany, thank you so much for the inspiration. And I will actually put the link to her YouTube channel and that video in the description of this video. So I wanted this to be able to fit like right here. And then all I needed to do was put a sentiment, stamp a sentiment out, and then it was good to go. But you're gonna enjoy the process for making this. Okay, so all you're gonna need is your cardstock, and that's what I'm using. A Sharpie, a pencil, and a ruler. Okay, limited supplies to make a really cool card. So what I did was I wanted mine to be, you can actually put your dot in the center. So you wanna make sure where your dot goes is gonna count. Okay, so I wanted mine to be off to the side. So I didn't want it to be centered. So I put a dot like right here off to the side. You can do it on that side. You can do it up above. You can even start in the corner but I wanted mine to be kind of off-centered. So I'm gonna do that again, and maybe I'll just do it like right here. Okay, so that's the first thing you'll need to do. And then if you look at this, it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rectangular-like shapes to make that circus tent effect. All right, so you'll, I'll need, what I'll need to do is I'll need to put some lines on here from the dot. So I'm going to use my ruler for this. I thought this was just the coolest. Okay, and I'm going to start right here. And I'm just going to draw a line here. Okay, so now we have one, two, three, four. I'm going to put another line like right here. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. And we need two more, so right here, because this space is really large. So I'm gonna just maybe like right about there. That looks good. And this reminds me of when I was younger and I used to like to um, draw on my paper or do like doodling or something like that. And so that's what this reminded me of. So either way, you can turn your, your image either way and it makes a really fun artsy card. So see that? All right, so just it, it's just up to you. And we're gonna do a little shading with the pencil. Okay, so once you have that done, what you're gonna do, well, let's take our pencil first, is you're going to make these curved lines, right? You know, I'm just doing this freehanded, just to show you how easy this is. And let's put one there, because that looks like it could be an imaginary, you know, going off the paper. All right, and then on the next one, you're gonna go in the opposite direction. So this matters, this is what gives you that, that optical illusion. And I think you can get really detailed with this. And so I'm gonna come right here and I'm just 
as if the line was continuing again, you know, onto here. So just, okay, and then I'm going to do it again here, going in the opposite direction now. You're going to make want to make a ton of these cards. And right, I think right here will be good. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. But like I said, just have fun with it. Then we're going to go in the opposite direction again this way. Just continuing from this line right here. And then let's just go like that. Okay, doesn't look like much yet, but watch. The magic is going to happen this way. Because many of you are saying, you know what, I don't have a lot of supplies. And to make cards, sometimes getting back to the basics can be the fun part. Okay, we're going to go opposite again. So I want you to see this whole process. Because once you see the magic happens, you're going to be like, oh my goodness, how cool is that? And maybe another one right there. And then we're going to go opposite again. This way. And see, I missed the line a little bit there. That's all right. Thank you so much, Tiffany, for this, for that tutorial. It was a great tutorial. Okay, and maybe about there. That looks about right. Okay, so you see how what we've got so far? And I just had one of the animals come into the room, so you're probably going to hear some of the noises. Okay, so now it's time to get our Sharpie. Okay, so now we're going to take our Sharpie, and we're going to start coloring this in. So here's an important part. I'm going to start with right here in the middle. And I'm just going to trace around this with my Sharpie. Okay. Now I'm going to skip this one and go to the next one. Okay. I'm just going to bring this line up. Bring that line up. Okay. And I'm going to color in the next one. So you're going to kind of like do a checkered a checkered thing going on here. And I could sit all day and make these cards because they're so fun and they don't require a whole lot. But it looks so cool. It looks it looks much harder than it actually is. Okay, just tracing that line again. All right, and just bring that out, and then I'm going to skip. That one's going to stay white. And I'm just using a black Sharpie. Could you imagine using some of, doing this same effect with some of your markers that you have in your stash? So you see how that looks? Keep watching. Okay, so now we're going to go, this is black, this is going to stay white here, but I'm just going to trace that line and then this line right here and then right next to the white so it looks check, right? You're going to color this one in. So that, that's what starts to really give it that effect. So I want you to see this come together. Because I know once, you sh once I show you this, you're going to want to do this. Keep tracing that line, skipping that one, letting that one stay white. Let me know when you start to see it. <laughs> You're going to start seeing it 
where it has that effect like, oh my goodness, it looks like a circus tent, right? Okay, and imagine you can do this in so many colors. Get your favorite color and start making a bunch of these. Okay, skipping this and going over to this one. So I'm just making it the illusion that it's continuous. And I need to put, I'm getting close to that edge, so I'm just gonna put this right on here so I can really get the edges here. Okay, now let's see, we got that. We're gonna, this is, this part is black, so this part is gonna be white right there. And then we're gonna just take that and bring that line over and this is going to be the next one that's going to be black right here. So I think you're getting it now, right? I just want to show you. I'll probably do one more after this and then I'll just um, continue on. And you may have heard the littlest doggy, Gooby, barking because I closed the door to the room. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and fill that in. Just wanna make that a little bit straighter. When I did this, I couldn't wait to show Bill and he was like, where'd you get that paper from? I'm like, I drew this. <laughs> he thought it was some kind of paper. Goodness, this is so fun. Okay. Just drag that all the way out to the edge. And then let's do one more. And then I'll go ahead and continue and show you what it looks like when it's completed. Okay, so... This one right here is, is white, so this part right here is going to be black. And it's okay if it overlaps just a little bit into this color right here. So you see there's a little bit of overlap. Ah, that's okay. And almost everyone has a Sharpie somewhere in their house. I think I have some different color Sharpies. I may have to try this and make some um, in different colors. I think that will look pretty cool. I think this would be a cool card for, for just about anybody, really. But maybe for a teenager, I think that would be really cool. Okay, so you see how the lines are there? Okay, see how that's starting to come? You're starting to see that illusion there, right? I'm going to go ahead and continue the rest and finish this off, and then we're going to, I'm going to show you how to make it into a card. Okay, y'all, so look at that. All done, but not yet. Let me show you what Tiffany did. I was already blown away by this, but then she took her pencil and she started shading it in on the white areas, just shading it in um kind of like this so she went in a little bit hard on this and as she got further in to that cylinder shape she got lighter right so she went in deeper and then she got lighter as she got into the, the edges and that just did a whole nother thing 
So let's see if I can do it. Mine is not going to be perfect because it just gets better with um, as I practice more and more. So let me erase that. And then deeper shading and then light, very light. Okay, let me erase that again. Light, very light. I'm holding my pencil light. Okay, let's see. Deeper shading here and then light as you come closer into the center. And it might take some practice, but it's okay. Very light. Look how I'm whispering, okay? Deeper shading and then light. And I'm trying to kind of make it so it's just straight down, all right? So it looks like lighter and then deeper on the edge, lighter. Deeper on the edge. So it really makes it look like a circus tent. Lighter, okay. Let's see if y'all can really see that. Deeper and then light. Deep. I'm trying to be too heavy handed, I think. <laughs> okay, deeper and then light. Just a little bit on here. The good thing is that I have an eraser, so if I don't get it right, I could <laughs> always go back and try it again. Just practicing. Deeper and then light. Lighter. Right here, maybe a little bit, a little bit. And then light. And you may have to do this a few times to practice, but what a fun way to do this. going to go deeper on these areas here. Oh, this is so fun. I can't wait to try it using other colors. Let me know if you try this and, and what colors did you use? Did you stick with the black? on the white or did you color like everything in because you can alternate like if I wanted to put green in here I could do that red you know just alternating deeper and then light going towards the inside I've got it and then on the edges I'm just gonna just gently gently go on the outside of this with my pencil just so it has an outline on the white when I put it on my card just a little detail See how it just gives it just a, a just a little bit of an outline on that. Okay, a little bit more. I'm 
still practicing here, y'all. Oh, I see y'all making a ton of these cards. <laughs> okay, I'm still kind of polishing up my this area here. All right, it's it's working out here. See, here's on here too. You can see it where I went and did the pencil on there. Okay, y'all, so now we're going to go ahead and make our card. Okay, so I am using our Sentiments stamp set from our Marvelous Crafting Store. I will leave the link for you in case you want to get this. This has all the different occasions on it. And I am going to do use Thinking of You. And I am going to stamp that at the bottom before I put this on. Okay, so right here, this will fit, is going to fit right there. So I want my sentiment to kind of line up right around here. Okay, I'm just going to eyeball it. Okay, look how pretty that is. And don't forget, we actually have our intense black mindless crafting ink as well in case you're looking for a good stamping ink okay and I'm going to put this right here or if I wanted to it could be like this or it can be like this and you see it needs a little bit more of a border right here let's see I don't think I did that part so gentle shading, there it is. So that way you can see the outline of it. But it makes the, the simplest card, right? And I'm liking it off to the side like this for some reason. I'm liking that. There, there goes my doggy. <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay. Strawberry is not happy with the little doggy next door. So I'm going to put some dimension on this just because um, y'all know if you've been watching me for a while, you know I love putting dimension on the cards. not to me it's not sticky enough so let me just add just a dab of glue on here and y'all look look at the magic look how cool this card looks oh my goodness y'all how, what a beautiful artsy card to give to someone. Look at that. And no two are alike. You just have different variations. Look at that. So I, I'm hoping that y'all are inspired by this. Oh my goodness. Look at that. How cool. It's a great way to make a nice artsy card and send to someone. It could be a birthday card. I think a teenager would really love this card. I think they would think it's just the coolest. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you were inspired. And thanks again to Tiffany Thomas for um, just doing the tutorial on this circus tent optical illusion. I love it. And I will um, put the link to her channel in the description and y'all go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed yet if you're just watching uh, go ahead and subscribe but also hit the notification so that you know when we're going to be doing more cards all right y'all y'all take care and i'll see you real soon bye